tell me with the pen where are you willing to do business at today? This is going to be a, a great win-win deal with the Wichita Wild and Eddie's Toyota and ICT Reality TV. Well, you met the 2D version of Terry West. Now, I want you to meet the real Terry West. All right, so we got That's it set up. So we idea. got the four guys, Saturday, the deal's on. Welcome to ICT Reality TV. I'll be honest with you, it kind of upset me a little bit. Why people who have less experience than I am have been promoted? And I think that if Brandon knew that you wanted more, I think that he would have probably approached this whole deal a different way. Maybe in the near future, we can set it up so that, so that you can grow with the company. George took Victor to lunch to tell him he's disappointed that Anthony, he didn't name any names, but it's obvious that Anthony was promoted. Anthony was promoted to desk manager, he wasn't. I have a quick answer for that, and I want to visit with George, or maybe you should visit with George, but if he went to desk manager, he'd be taking a pay cut. I mean, George is one of our highest paid employees because he's such a good salesperson. He sells 20 plus cars every month. He cannot make, he's not able to make that much money on the desk. You know, your top paid person should be your highest person, which should be Jim, mm -hmm. but there's very often, I always said your top salesperson should make more than your top manager, and that happens often. Our salespeople aren't on commission where they get so much of the profit of the car, they're on, on, on what their CSI scores, our customer satisfaction index scores. That's how, that's our grade card, that's how we grade our employees. George is perfect, he's flawless on his customer service. You know, one of my concerns is he's really in that point in sales right now where it's the, the, the fun part of it because he gets so many repeats and referrals every month, he's got three, four, five cars sold each month before the month even starts and people that are just coming in repeat and referral business. That's what every salesperson works toward. The dream he's at that point. I guess it's almost disappointing to me why, when he's finally made it to this point, why he has the interest to... Well, George is very smart. Maybe it's more about a consideration that he was not talked to about it. So then we need to sit down with him and have some, you know, have, have a discussion mm -hmm. of whether or not he wants to change careers, or change paths at the store. Joe understand uh, a good friend of mine. He's a general manager at a major dealership here in town. Anyway, he referred me. That'd be your total cash investment on the vehicle. Mm -hmm. That's more than I want to spend. I know. Or I'm going to spend. Tell me, with the pen, where are you willing to do business at today? Okay. We're quite a ways away. 8,000. Yeah. Quite a ways away. Um, Eleven nine ninety nine, uh, and I know you just you're putting forth your best effort. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I tell you what. Let me call my friend and get his advice on it, Joe Gas, and um, just see what he's what his thoughts are. I need you to give me a strong book on this one. I need a strong book. He's phoned a friend, Joe Gas. Uh, this is a great used to work car. Here. Good, yeah, good friend of Jim Lowe. You know, bottom line, he's going to take Joe Gallant's word for it. So if Joe said this is a great deal on this car, he's going to buy this car, even though it's over budget. Okay, thank you very much. I understand. I understand. Thank you. All right. Jim and Joe are really good friends. Uh, Jim said that he'd like another hundred dollars if he spelled Joe's last name correct. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got he's got it spelled out here, but this is what we're able to do for you, uh, as far as uh, on the price of the vehicle. Okay, okay? that would be uh, our best deal. Okay, okay? Uh, but uh, if it's okay, we'll we'll call and talk to uh, Joe. Hey, um, I don't know if you remember me when I first started here back in 01, August of 01. I, I shared offices with you, um, little little small black guy. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Jim and I are still here, you know. 
So, um, hey, I'll tell you that uh, Jim says that this is our best deal. This is what we can do. 10 to 12 uh, plus tax and fee. So I promise you that uh, we're, we're shooting you straight. We're shooting him straight on the deal, okay? Okay, here he is. He wants to speak with you. Well, these seems like nice guys, so. Yeah. All right. Okay, we will do. Thanks. Bye. All right, I'll go with it. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. I've been getting a lot of compliments on my beard. <laughs> uh, they say I look very distinguished. And uh, I think that's the look I want to have for the year uh, 2011. You know what's interesting about facial hair is AT has a beard now, and he says it's because he gets a lot of compliments, and um, people think he looks like Russell Crowe. Maybe we should get a close-up of AT and see how many of our audience members out there think that AT really looks like Russell Crowe. <laughs> we have Don Shaw with the mustache, I think that was in a previous episode. He thinks he looks like Tom Selleck. You know what? Back over here, <laughs> what Jim says about Anthony and uh, about Victor. Let me t explain to you. I've known Victor for a long time, like a lot of years. And Victor says, people have been getting a lot of compliments. If he says, I've been getting a lot of compliments, that means at max, one person said something. <laughs> if two people would have said something, he would have said, I've been getting thousands of people saying something to me. It's just, that's just Victor in his exaggeration mode. <laughs> I have to at least keep it through February because it's so cold out there. My upper lip will freeze. No, I think uh, he needs to keep the mustache. The days of the woolly, bushy mustache are so passe. I say shave it. Hey, look. I'm Don Shaw. Now I know who you're talking about. Don! There's not too many people that can grow a big, bushy beard and make it work. Perhaps sometimes you felt like the underdog. You felt like the society and the oppression of people just kind of weighing down on your shoulders. I guess I kind of feel that way a little bit, and I'm appealing to you, the general public, to help me save the mustache. So I need your support. And we've all felt society telling us, well, you can't do this, you can't do that. Well, let's stand up and show them that we can do what we want to do. The mustache, it needs to stay, at least during the winter time, while it's five degrees outside. So go to facebook.com forward slash ICT reality TV and vote save the stash. The floor you're on right now, in the new building, it's going to be nine feet taller, if you can try to imagine that. Um, it's going to look great, especially, you know, coming down the highway, because we're going to be nine feet taller, everything. You'll see all of the paving and pole lights removed, then thousands of tons of dirt will, dirt will be hauled in for the building pad. The finished floor of the new dealership will be nine feet above our current parking lot. This will look like a mountain of dirt from our current building. There was an EPA change, EPA law change where if you are a repair facility and you're doing new construction, that sort of thing, and there's a chance that oil may be dripping off the car when you get done and that sort of thing, you have to filter and recondition that water before it goes into the, the river system. So we're spending upwards of $600,000 to put a water filtration system under the ground. So any water drain off from this lot goes through that filtration system before it's sent off into the, into the river. Our water, will be clean when it hey, goes let's bottle it. I'd like to wish a uh, happy Valentine's Day to all of my family and my lovely wife Stephanie and my son Cooper. I would like you ladies to be loved and be in love. I especially would like to wish best wishes for my wife and my girls and all Russian ladies personally. Дорогие дамы, с днём Святого Валентина. Coming up next on ICT Reality TV. Okay, so how about, in a very serious way, how about if I dress you up in costumes? We are always trying to drum up excitement. And it just irks me. It just gets me so upset. See Billy over there? That's what utter humiliation looks like. Parents just don't understand the half of it. Get in the car. Come on. Lucky for me, my mom gets it. This Highlander is so cool, I actually want to be seen in it. Even my mom likes it. And she's like 37 years old. See the stylish new Highlander at youtube.com slash Highlander. 
sometimes the very best place and best time to get a great deal on a used car is when you can come to like Eddie's Toyota and find a GMC, something that I don't specialize in, something that I'm gonna pass a great deal on to the customer. No one ever thinks to come to Eddie's Toyota and buy a domestic car like this. But your advantage to buying it is number one, it's a local trade. I didn't go out and buy this in an auction, which you'll find at most car dealerships. And number two, I'm not even gonna try to get in the price game on it. This right here is a 2008 GMC Sierra. All the bells and whistles, it's loaded. It's got leather, it's a one owner. It's local from a guy right here in town. Right now, I'll make you one of the best deals in the city on this truck. Hello, my name is Craig Worcester. I'm the general manager for the Warren Theater in Old Town. We'd like to mention a few of our promos we have coming up in February. Our first is a Valentine's Day showcase package. The package includes tickets for the movie Just Go For It, shown in our luxurious showcase theater, a three-course plated meal that includes prime rib or chicken Diane. We also have an additional package that makes a great gift from Pure Salon that includes a men's or women's Avita haircut. Both packages make for a great gift and a great evening at the Warren Old Town Theater Grill. Seating is reserved, and you can find all the details on warrenoldtown.com.